Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to... Let's just ask. Are we going to see an upset here? Yes. I think it's looking looking good for ATK. Yeah. They look on point. No no signs of nervousness. Yeah. Might be an upset. I mean, they look as good as they've looked in the other matches, and that's, that's pretty good. They're yep. pretty organized. They abuse their numbers on the T side. I wonder if they will... Um, try to identify like on a CT side where Dren's playing and just try to overwhelm. And not because it's a Dren, but because it's not a member of the normal team and you're not going to have that synergy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like on looking at the T side of Liquid on Dust 2, um, looking at the T side of Liquid on Dust 2, a Dren was left to play solo. So the teammates who have that synergy because they play all the time right. are left to play together. So I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, that is the strength that they were trying to play to. I think, I think one thing as well is that if you play normal, and don't adjust things too much. If you get a pick, they're already at a disadvantage as well, because Adren has to kind of they're they're not going to have as much chemistry playing with him. So so there's also like an indirect advantage there, because sometimes I feel like teams do over like uh, like they go too far outside of their own game plan to try to incorporate. Oh, this is a glaring weakness. We must attack this. But then they themselves are harming their whole kind of routine and and flow. Yeah. So because it's definitely a balancing act. And then where do you stand on this valence, obviously, as a coach? Yeah, I think I, I, I agree. I think if, if you are altering your game plan to Wow, wow. Yeah, <laughs> what that the hell is a, that? There's some insane nods actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you if you're altering a game plan just for a specific thing, you're in the pistol round, but it's not you shouldn't do that. You should counter specific spots but not change your entire game plan up. P two fifty for a lead, he's got one for himself. Nafly is gonna eat one in the face. From Banana. There are three players on Banana. I don't know how many he saw though. We've got Sonic moving up the speedway back towards the A bomb site as Team Liquid take top mid. Always got to be concerned when no one's spotting Banana that you're going to get shots in the back. Elijah will deploy some grenades. So separate the pit player from the, from the site. And there's the opening frag for Team Liquid. Yes, they're a man down, but it's a pistol round. It can really go either way. And 3DQ, 3v3 now. Liquid are going to be able to plant the bomb for a lead, kind of. CP plays a lurker role. They know where he is now. You can see JT creeping, looking for a double peek with the pit player, perhaps. Adren, so many places to look. And now a has lost position completely. If he goes deep to try and stop the bomb from being defused, he's surely going to get shot in the side of the head from somewhere. Oh, he was... Not close to clean JT, but he'll take Sonic out at the very least. Did the best he could, but ATK had the numbers, had the position, and won as they should have. One of the scary things here is that the creep by is not really that much of a thing. So I would expect ATK. Also, the other thing we talked about is, I don't know which conversation recently, but the fact that you can get MP9s, UMPs. Uh, they're actually opting to get uh, three famas here, but I feel like you can really... Really leverage an enormous utility advantage, and the MP9s are like so strong at pushing banana control, pushing for banana control, and you'll likely get an upgrade in weaponry as well. So, so uh, it's, there's a lot working in ATK's favor here, which I, sh I guess should be intuitive because they won the first round, but we know how it goes. <laughs> we well, you said the creek buy is not a thing. On there Inferno. are three creeks. So let's see how it works out. Maybe wow. you're right, Dan. Close range. And those Kriegs don't have the advantages they might on other maps. Very in favoring ATK on Banana. And one of those Kriegs has been lost, as well as uh, two players for Team Liquid. I actually feel like it's more favorable to have more, way more utility, like one Krieg. I think the buy still makes sense, but you know, one Krieg is probably going to get as much value from that one Krieg. Because the problem is on Inferno, it's always about getting into position, really, and you have to get, you have to use utility to do that. Otherwise, the Kriegs don't have a you don't have a spot. If the other team plays it correctly, the other team you know you don't already get a spot. I feel like with three players here, they should pick up the bomb immediately, rather than leave it behind, because you, you don't yeah. really have that rotation man with only three players. So this could cause some problems later on. There's an opening kill from Twist, and surely you want to move in as they will, but they don't have the bomb. There's a trade. You need numbers to trade, but if you've got a split to go and get the bomb, that's a problem. Unless they turn it into something <laughs> the weirdest fake of all time. Yeah. There we go. One of the... This is the thing, like, when you have two players picked, they need to be looking around for things like this and be like, hey, guys. He has time to go A. He does have time to go A. 17 seconds. He's going to race car towards A. Twist doesn't see the barrel of the gun, but surely he hears something. He's going to outmaneuver two of the three players. He hears some bullets being fired. He's going to find the frag. Twist might just win the round on the B-bomb site. 
The leech has all the time in the world to go wherever the damn hell he wants. And he knows exactly where his opponent was. He's actually, he'll choose to close the distance instead of playing further back somewhere else. And I think it was a knife out there from Floppy, so good job for, for a leech there with the positioning. That was very strange. Very close one. The Kriegs do end up working out uh, for, for Team Liquid, but again, it was a bit scary. I do wonder with the Coffin's peak, you know, um, when you know you're against Kriegs, is that really a peak that that you want to t that you want to use, um, or is there a is there a better way to get information? Because it's such a common pre-fire spot, especially if, the, if there's no utility stopping the T's, they can hold that angle for free. Yeah, that's super decided for sure. That right eye swing as well. I think everything you said there, Dan, basically. Um, wasn't challenged in that round at least in terms of you can't abuse the Kriegs like you can on other maps but they can still be of use of course I mean if you're just buying them every round anyway and you're buying a rifle by a Krieg but I think it's that Coffin's Peak that's like the strongest usage of it I think that people have to be aware of I mean I think there are some other like post plant spots and so on like the, the spots where you would find an orb being extremely strong I think the orbs can have similar issues on the T side of this map. He has picked himself up a creek. I'm interested to see how this develops for ATK because yesterday we didn't see much of their CT side because, well, <laughs> they just destroyed complexity on their T side. It's true. It's a very good, very good point, actually. Yeah, it was very dis uh, one sided. Yeah, it almost seemed like there was infighting for complexity or something, like, like an internal breakdown. You think Jason Lake was in their team speak? <laughs> I, I doubt it, but I'm sure he was. Uh, he had their air at some point, perhaps. I mean, it's still quite early for that team, at least. So, but I think it, it is a lot of pressure. I feel like that team specifically, especially for a lot of players that aren't necessarily um, proven at the elite, super elite level. Yet you're like, you're put in this team where the expectation is. Yeah, you, we want you to build you into a top four team in the world. Here is all the resources. So if anything, so if you're not doing it, it's because you suck. It's <laughs> like, you know, it's like, it's kind of a, it's a tough one. It's a really a huge challenge. I'm starting to wonder if Leech has every knife in the game. Yeah, this is a pretty sick knife, color scheme wise. Yeah, the default ones are quite nice, aren't they? Shadow daggers? Yeah, I impulse purchased them once. Then I saw them because I prefer giant blades. <laughs> Like the king size Bowie. Molly's take uh, an AWP angle away, a swing pop flash angle away. Alige inviting the peak from the coffins. We find the pop more accurate than the AK 47 for you scoping. Chewie taking some damage, but ATK taking the brunt of it. They're getting the hammer, so to speak. Team Liquid still with that disciplined map control. There's no holes for A to K to climb into. JT with the 5.7. See more 5.7s now. Which is fantastic. That new 5.7 with a CT face on the back needs to come into play. There's some of the CS20 hollow stickers on the side. It looks fantastic. There's a lot of spam from MOCM. Not much for him to lose. Floppy, though, has found himself a free. Or he's had it already. Ooh, that's a clean bulldozer. Respect. Love me some bulldozer skins. MP9 bulldozer still absurdly expensive. And Liquid will hunt, it seems. They know he has a Krieg, and Adren doesn't have much to lose. A Deagle and a Mac 10. You can look for him. Creep into apartments, maybe burst out. Flying Mac 10 incoming. Floppy can just hide now. And the Dren will not go too far. He's creeping out. I would like to see him fly like a madman. And eventually fall to his doom as was inevitable. He could make a fast play towards Banana here. Yeah, this is a really big round. It's like round five, but it's 
the first four, well, close to four by we're going to see for ATK. You know, they won the first round, they lost the second. That's like so always so brutal on your economy. So, yeah, and this is, uh, you kind of want OC to go a little aggro, find a pick early on, given the fact that they're going to lose the utility battle. And then, in fact, he will take a deep peek here. Now, a fine one. That's a beautiful flick. That's Very well done. Flick. And Alicia's is, a, is an important player to kill as well, because he's quite the can opener. And. And also, again, mitigating the utility disadvantage by taking down a player is, is really an ideal way to do it. Seems the Dren will be the point man now. Pop flashes and Floppy takes the angle. Can easily be flashed off again. Sees that no one is top mid for the time being. Not playing anybody lane ATK, double arch play with OC looking towards the apartments. <laughs> All right, the balcony burst. Moso smoke going out. It's really okay. So the lurk smoke, the old bolts smoke. It's a great one to learn. I even know that one, James. That's good. As long as you know when to use it. It's one thing to know the smoke. Every round, James. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Thirty-seven seconds on the clock. There's the Moto Smoke. No burst flashbang. They've spread out and they're just continually creeping up lane. Nafai looking for a poor position CC. Surely comes eventually. He's spotted Floppy now and has to go signal. Molotov into the pit position, but OC still delivers. Moti ends falling in the meantime. OC still from the arch position, causing problems on the site now. 16 seconds going to the flick. Two versus two. And they're lining up for Sonic. ATK very, very patient. Not hungry for information. Spotted purely by chance in that lane area. Liquid looking to exploit, but ATK may be stronger than they thought they might be. Even from a region as far away as South Africa, from the main regions of CS, Europe and North America, they are very much up to speed. So no critical errors made there from ATK. Just holding, playing for the bomb plants. Now the score is 3 to 2, opening frag from 8k on Banana. That's Dewey dead this time. Another one of the can opener, the two can openers of Team Liquids. And JT gets away with daylight robbery there. Ooh, Sonic with a very, very risky play, peeking in the flames. Considering that you're up 5 versus 4 and JT only has 2 HP. It's, uh, yeah. it's definitely a questionable one. That was not a good play. Now they have to spit two to a site, and so it's this classic problem that you have on a CT side. Do you gamble? Do you play two, a, two to a site? Do you try to play, make an information play on one side of the map? And Liquid are doing the, a, a really good job here in, in pressuring both sides, so it's pretty impossible for ATK without extreme levels of risk to figure out what's happening. And they've guessed incorrectly. They've left the AWPer on B, the only guy who's got less than 100 HP. Oh, that's a flick, man. He could get killed by a smoke grenade now. It's like the thing he did yesterday. Liquid moving into the site, the coffin plant. Really tough spot for JT. There's only a smoke left for Elige. That's it in terms of utility. Are they going to go for this? Motive getting sprayed down. They've got a molly. They could put it dark spot. They could smoke uh, banana. Smoke is out. There's banana smoke. Now the molly. Where does it go? Dark spot. Forcing them forward. But that got a strong angle. The flashbang will be a problem. 3v3. They could lose everything. ATK. They're very likely to. Now the 1hp is non hp for JT. And OC will also fall. 4 2 for Team Liquid. ATK just can't keep a grip of their economy. What do they need to change, Valence? I mean, that, that round was just, uh, it was kind of a dumb peak by Sonic. JT was already low. They actually started out the round 5v4. So, I mean, they did most things right. Unfortunately, they had a gamble late round because JT was low and they had no info. So, up until that weird peak at car, things were good. So don't don't be dumb. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't be dumb. Be smart. Advice from Dan. No, it was advice from Valens. Advice from Valens via Dan. Yeah, exactly. Proxy. And advice a proxy. proxy. I remember proxy servers. Four to two for Team Liquid. When I was in Fiji, there were loads of lily pads. When I was doing the bull shark diving, there was this place where I go and eat afterwards. And I had like a pond in the middle, I suppose, with lots of restaurants and things around it, and had loads of lily pads. It was very nice. Do you ever feel like you're taking your life in your hands when you do shark diving? You're taking your life in your hands when you cross the road. Um, you're not with diving shark diving, with sharks, mate, no. when you cross <laughs> the road, all right? There's no traffic lights, you know, <laughs> pedestrian crossings. No, I don't feel like I'm taking my life in my hands. There's no police in the sea, James. To, Maybe they are to the stop police. the sharks. Maybe they are the police. It's a dictatorship, <laughs> and they are the uh, the military police. They can do what they want. I was so I was just gonna get at like I wonder if if the because you're talking about having the meal, the place you went to eat afterwards. I wonder if that's more satisfying because you're like I'm alive. <laughs> no, I don't think that way. I think um, and the meal. You know what? Well, the first time I dived in the sea, I was kind of terrified up to the point where I actually did it. Like the week before, when I knew I was gonna go diving in the sea because I learned in a in a quarry. Um, I was like, oh, you know, what if a shark wants to eat me? It's not like I can swim away or something, that kind of thing. But then as soon as you get into the sea, that all goes away. But then when you go to shark diving, I suppose... It comes back. It's, it's because you, you don't know what to expect, right? You can imagine, but you don't really know how it's going to actually play out. But as soon as you get into the sea, at least when I was in the Bahamas, there were reef sharks already swimming around. Like even you could see them in the one or two around the boat... Just Doesn't that make it more scary if you're like dropping into the the no zone because when you see them just, just like they're super similar. calm just it's not like they're swirling like his jaws or something but they're just super calm just really slowly just swimming past not looking menacing or anything and it's just like oh it's cool everything is fine I'm like do you know what? I really like Naf's life Naf nah, Naf's life Naf's knife there we go not life life I might sell my falchion and my talon. And try to fund one of these. It is very clean. Yeah, it's nice. It's just a nice, tidy knife, isn't it? I don't think you can have too many fades. I have three. Why not have four? What's the, what's the type of knife? What is it called? Ursus. Ursus? Yeah. Why is that? What's it? Because someone decided to call it Ursus, that's why. I don't know. The knife is called an Ursus knife. Although I kind of want a stiletto knife more than that knife. I don't know. Really? I wouldn't get a fade stiletto. I don't think I should get a fade. I just appreciate it from a distance. I got, it'll, be, it'll be too many fades. It'll be monotonous at that point. Anyway, time has been filled. ATK have five USPs in a flashbang. Sonic will go towards B alone. And the remainder, where are they headed? Currently on lane. Departments. Maybe the flash will come later on. Two will go to keep the players on it. The drone will spot one immediately or spray through the balcony, whatever it was. The bulldozer. Nice pop flash coming through. JT can't find to us though. Pretty too much to do here for ATK. Four USPs now. That's true, he's expecting a pop flash play. Fell back. But all there is, is a very blue USP. Bomb's been left for the players on A to rotate. As the three players on the left can prioritize a take on the bomb site. The boot has happened already, not by least not exposed to it, but I don't think there'll be much more than this. This is a really bad start for ATK. Really bad. The the one mistake with the Pete the car as well. If we go back to that, it it's um it sucks in the, in the sense that it, it that really was the one big mistake that put them in a really bad position. And the thing is, if you start out like they did, where you win that pistol and then lose, and then your economy is in turmoil, they've effectively only had like what two 
full buys by now. Yep. And one faith, one bad mistake can just put you in this situation. You don't get many chances with a start like this. And they don't have enough utility, I would wager. But again, I think that does kind of require OC to be a little bit aggressive. It'd be nice to see him at Banana as well. And really important to mix your orpers up, or mix the positioning of your orpers up, round by round. JT doing big <laughs> damage. <laughs> big, oh no. That's hilarious. Combo. Combo meal deal. He has no idea. He, he basically killed two people. Well, I suppose he's just not dead till he's dead. One HE is all that will do it, but there is no HE, so that's cool. It's a helpful start. Mm, yeah, it certainly is. There's a pop flash play, and the Dren is the one to fall. A lead will swing with all of that 2 HP, and it seems that the game, the round rather, may be won on Banana. Very likely now that the bomb has been lost. Twist has one minute to take out as many players as possible. Look at the movement of the CTs. He won't hit a player jumping off the balcony. But he will be surrounded. OC going towards B. Leaving MOTM to deal with the potential rotation, but it won't be one. Four players alive for ATK, exactly what they needed. And let's put the money for Liquid in a less than ideal situation. Naf line, the leash kind of short. Yeah, I love this play here. We're just like taking control of it and doing it correctly. Not just pop flashing one guy, but they have two guys to to actually attack that position. I really like that. ATK is doing this thing on banana control where they'll throw one molly close, but then they'll throw a delayed molly far. And I think Liquid, if they catch on to that, they can just get kind of crept up behind the close molly, ask for a flash, and just cut, catch ATK guys with aids out in that transition. So we'll see if they... Sui's usually pretty good at working these things out of banana, so I think we'll start to see a little bit more aggressive form of banana control and Liquid soon. Oh, that's very interesting. I look forward to seeing how that develops. Keep our eyes peeled for that one. And uh, speaking of banana control right now, they've... ATK have cheated an extra player towards A. It's not being the relevant pressure towards banana to really stop them from doing that. And ATK have confirmation that Liquid are trying to work on top mid control right now. And that means that, they, that OC can still stay in position on banana. One flashbang is often all it takes to, to push that AWPA back on Banana. One flashbang. $200 will get rid of all the information and maybe even cause a rotation. There it is. Doesn't hit the mark on any of them OC. And he doesn't really have any grenades. Yes, he's got a flash, but hoping for a smoker on Molly in this situation. But he has a chance with Stewie. There's no smoke for the cross just yet. Is there a smoke at all? There is one up now. But we've got CT's around construction to help OC. They go for a boost behind bombs planted very quickly indeed as a two-man advantage. We've got a unorthodox boost over the smoke and it'll catch Floppy off a cheeky headshot from Twist and there's no smokes remaining. He's just going to face and he's going to deliver at least a second kill. Got information on one player. They know OC was construction. That's like got a play of the shadows here. There's grenades behind him. He's isolated. He sees the shadow though. He's baited. And it's down to a Dren. One versus two. He's got angles on the bomb, but does he know the spray? He does the lining up the meat shield, the headshot Ooh. through the smoke from ATK. They hold. It's still early in this game, but it feels so tense. Yeah, that looked like it. Liquid's made a, a very bad situation, almost favorable. That boost was awesome. I don't think I've seen the team attempt that boost before, but it, it makes sense from so many different directions. And when Twist is staring at them with a the Krieg, you know, you don't know how many kills he's going to get. But ATK, this is, if they get this round clean, that's, this this round could really help to stabilize. Just get one one uh, one buy tucked away. Ready for if there's problems later on. But that said, smoke flash on Adren. Deagles all around, CZ, Kevlar for twist. If a gun drops, he'll pick it up. Scary stuff as Stewie dead. These rounds are very tense indeed.
These deagles, man, they can be so dangerous. One quick headshot and the burst is all that's required. Nice flashbang. That has done some fantastic work here. And they'll clean up the rest of it. ATK actually survived with five players. It's good work from them. It's going to help a lot. Bolster their economy. I think they need a, another clean around here to really get kind of nine or ten rounds here on the CT side, which would be really good considering how good their T side looked yesterday. I think they would be... They'll be happy with at least eight, but, you know, the more the better, obviously. Yeah, and especially against Liquid, you know, you, you, you just have to maximize as much as you possibly can. Any kind of elite, they'll be able to grind back if they uh, find themselves behind. The bomb actually carried towards second middle, actually. So it's, uh, if, if the team's defaulting, the bomb is typically thrown at T-steps, around T-steps. Oh, the double AG there. Big damage oh done. Days. Naf down to 14 as well. Huge damage on Banana for Team Liquid to have to deal with. Only one player lost for ATK. One lost to Liquid as well, of course. But the damage is... Catastrophic. It is. There's more HEs to be deployed. Suggesting they run away, but they go back. They want more. They're hungry there. Thirsty, you might say. You don't often see players playing this position. It's very scary, but they line up for him and he finishes everybody off. That only works because it doesn't make it kind of. I mean, that's a smart time to go car. You got the AWP as a bait. That worked out really well. And you asked for a clean round, Phelan's, and that's what <laughs> uh, ATK are going to deliver. So maybe they can they can start building something here. That was really smart by ATK. They changed up their banana control to mauling close, and then as it's fading, mauling logs instead, and kind of bait them to go run into the room, and then double nade them. So I think uh, that was really smart. I like their progression in banana control uh, throughout the half. That's awesome because that's a detail I didn't pick up on, and that's at the level that like they're playing to a high level in that sense. Like a lot of people will not be thinking about that. And just like on Dust 2, get to the point where every other buy feels like an eco for Liquid. This one certainly is. Double arch plate, no one lane once again. Well timed incendiary to force Liquid back. Pretty deep as well. And the HEs again. Nice use of the HEs from ATK. They watch demos, they watch a lot of demos, I feel like. I don't most smoke from the pit, it is, there's another way to do it. From the barrel, from the pit, from close to top mid. All the moto smokes and they're lining up again. The clown the counter flashes have been a problem for Team Liquid. ATK making great utility, putting themselves in a position to win. Another round where four survived, so five, four, four. So that's a lot of economy they've yeah. built up now. That's uh, that's huge. Generally on Inferno, it's kinda like at some point in the half, you know if you won or lost the banana battle, and I think Liquid has lost it overall. Uh, just because they're taking too much harassment damage from nades. In general, ATK is coming out on top with the trades. The only round they really messed up was that, that car peak uh, by... I forgot who it was, Sonic, maybe? I think Sonic, yeah. Uh, but yeah, overall, definitely ATK is doing better uh, on banana, which is a huge part of the map, obviously. Not challenging it just yet. They've got plenty of smokes, plenty of pop flashes, so Stewie will take the main damage. That's like waiting for a peak. More HE grenades to be deployed, and there goes Stewie. Finished off Sonic with a jewel. ATK strengthening again. This map could conclude things for ATK and put them in Arlington. Great opportunity for them. They're just, they're playing good Counter-Strike. They, what's surprising me is their utility usage. They're, they're using their utility very well. That's one of the hardest things to do as a team. It would be really interesting to ask, like, what demos they watch the most. And uh, how many Astralis demos they've gotten through this week. Have these guys played with each other before besides the two pairs? I guess JT and Sonic have, and OC and Floppy have. So uh, the, the chemistry is pretty good for yeah. being such a new team. 
I have no idea. I just all I can see is good Counter Strike, and from an up and, like a hungry up and coming team like this, the level of detail that they're showing is is because it's generally speaking they're playing consistent. They're trying to they're trying to find consistent spots. They're not just running around trying to abuse their mechanics. Every player is delivering. They have they're pretty decisive with the calling, which I think is one of the things that a lot of teams struggle with is de decisiveness from a from like however the shots are called in the team. But it's uh, but yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good. So Liquid have a lot on their hands here. It sucks if you're Liquid and you're playing with a stand-in and you run into a team like this. It's really uh, it's really not ideal. Right. Two rounds remain. That's a big string of rounds for ATK. The HE down mid. These HEs have been a nightmare. And again, Liquid are on the pistols. Another crap buy for Team Liquid. Desperately trying to... It feels like to hang on at this point. And that's all credit to ATK. Into the response to the smoke. Pushing towards the arch position. But they can't really afford to go through that. Especially with what they have equipped. Deagles and pistols, twist will open a proceeding. There's a deep shot into the A-box side. OC likes to stand there. Another headshot delivered. Can they pick up some rifles though? More headshots. Twist is angry. He's mad. Bill Deagles are so dangerous. There's a lot of guns that could be coming. Oh, just walking into it. It's all falling apart. That's very unfortunate for ATK. It felt like they were doing the right thing to begin with. But perhaps they were giving too much space, just trying to control the flow as opposed to disrupting it. Give an opportunity here, but no, never mind. The Deagles. Wow. The Deagles win. Well, that's an unlikely round for Liquid. A much needed round. Twist putting in work. Well, a lot of people did in that round. That's a juicy headshot. Wow, there's not much you can do about that. I feel like, you know, a, a kill happening at the wrong timing can just collapse around. So here it is, last round. Liquid are getting themselves, uh, well, definitely under better scoreline. Wasn't looking like they get more than five, but here they are, threatening a seventh. Double ops for ATK and default here for Liquid. They'll have to respect the smoke on Banana. Well, they don't have to, but they choose to and they'll run their mid default and apartments default first, and then you would expect them to go back towards banana. And there's a mid setup for ATK, so they understand what they've done with this deep banana control, and they understand that they would have to come here with a lot of players, and that nade again. Oh, I thought that was going to do more. Good dodge from Team Liquid. That's a whiff and a half. That could come back to haunt them. Off flash for Floppy. The lead will swing. will be the bait for his teammates, but they can't clean up. 3k for Floppy. He is ready for Team Liquid. Nathline and Stewie remain, walking away, cutting the noise. All that hard work paying off for ATK right now. Beautiful play from Floppy. Now it's time for Stewie to try and do the same. To so just walk into these angles, JT spotted. Not expecting the repeat maybe, but JT will have a look and see that nobody is there. 30 seconds remain. We've got the rotation from Sonic now to go towards the bottom of the mid. They need to deal with a potential crossfire for these DTs. MOTM spotted, and this is where the half will end. Nine rounds for ATK on their CT side to the six of Team Liquid. Is there any fight left in what remains of Liquid? Let's find out after the break.
start your path to pro. Begin your matchmaking experience with like-minded players. Climb the ranks, meet your teammates, and make it all the way to the top. Rise through the ranks to the FPL circuits and play alongside the best players in the world. And who knows, you might just be the next Sairu. Begin your road to pro at faceit.com. Cool, right? Want to know where I got it? Uh -huh. Well, look, go to cs.money. It's a trade platform and a marketplace at the same time. Just choose, click, and get. Good luck, bro. ATK won the first map in overtime, and they played pretty damn well. They had a f really phenomenal recovery. All things considered, they had a terrible start, losing the pistol, uh, winning the pistol, and losing the following round on the CT side. But now they're here, nine to six, and they could beat Liquid. The fact that they're favored on the odds is just absolutely mind blowing. But what a team they've turned out to be, and they've got a lot of utility between JT, Sonic, and OC. What is the plan, man? No P250s. No P250s. Well observed, Valens. It is Inferno, though. So it's acceptable. I no, feel it's like. not. Is it? No, it's not. Well, look at all the utility they have. <laughs> that is noted. If there is a if there is a superior plan, then then sure, it is acceptable. But you have to say that you can't just make the blanket statement. Then you must qualify it. Plenty of fishing to be done in mid. Towards coffins on B. Even mid to arch might not be a one-shot range with a Glock. It's that bad. 50 seconds remain. Liquid, wait, they sit. And Fly's lost his position. They've lost a the B-bomb site. This is it. How do they retake it? There are two flashes and a defuse kit for Team Liquid. It seems they were prepared for this. They have something for this. But will it be the right answer? Interestingly, with a play like this, I wonder if a HE would be a consideration for that default plant. Trades around construction. Sonic holding the angles, though. He'll fall back behind the smoke to play with his teammates. In the meantime, Swiss has crept onto the side. The numbers game now overwhelming for Team Liquid over ATK. JT has nothing to lose here. And all the damage to do. That'll be it. Twitter for 2k, untouched, dancing through the bullets. We'll get the cheap helmet. As will Adren. So they get the Krieg by though. Or do they do they do what they could do, or do they understand that? Utility is superior, James. It seems there'll be a, a counter strike update later today. Oh yeah. Yesterday was just um yesterday was the Bard off update, more or less. The weekly Bard off update. And today maybe it's the general populace update. I, knew, I was going to ask, but I was wondering if they do loads of MAC-10s. I was wondering about this. And they didn't get the Kree. Wonder no more, Dan. I, it, because I, I, yeah, this, no. this makes more sense. Like, I think you could do one Kree, sure, but... Yeah, what are you going to do about that? MP9, fight fire with fire. That's so funny. That's exactly how they kept taking banana on complexity. They did this on a second round buy. It's so strong. It's very, um... Vegas squadron. Yeah. There's the HE from Adrian. I was talking about the previous run, but it's early though. The bomb is with Twist, but the HP is not. He'll smoke them off into the molly. At least we'll isolate the players on the site, but they can still swing. Moving forward now, perhaps undetected. Twist has the skills for it, but it's not going to be easy. This is the player by Newbox. The bomb has been collected. The molly is too deep. There's one more where the trade frag goes. They are here immediately. ATK is forced by it works. Who needs Kriegs when you've got Mac 10s, when you've got Mans on Road, when you've got the skates, when you've yes. got the monocles of sandbags, when you catch players off guard, when you've got a numbers game to overwhelm, to keep pushing. Let's the swarms, not, the horde. 
Let's not forget on this map in particular how strong that buy is if you convert this round. Like, sorry, how strong that round win is if you convert this one. It cripples the CT economy for some time. So if ADK actually f are able to follow through here correctly, then Liquid are in a huge amount of trouble. Okay, two players tagged. Wow, okay, that's really a problem. That's a huge issue. <laughs> two players tagged and three towards B. I almost feel like you just want to execute to a site at this point. Find a way to do it. Okay, we are losing HP, gentlemen <laughs> and ladies. We're bleeding. We're bleeding, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's bleeding. I'm bleeding chips, what the USA guy says in Casino Royale. I'm rigid. The way he says it as well, it's like, it's actually bleeding. I'm bleeding chips. They're losing cabin pressure, James. I see a hemorrhage on the way, maybe. The thing is, they've slowed things down. Liquid are spread out. HEs have come and gone. So ATK can still have used their numbers. They are four towards the A bomb site. There are two for Team Liquid. They have dangerous pistols. ATK have dangerous rifles. And they've got dangerous Molotovs. So MOTM has the MAG-10. Does he make the info play? Looks like, looks like they're going to just gamble the B bomb site here. Because right now, Liquid could be re-pushing Boiler and figuring out that there's nothing top mid. And they're already stacked here anyway, so we'll see how well the utility fares for ATK. It's all about the utility game. And there's a counter God. smoke coming in as well. Stewie close range for the CZ, gets himself two. And it's looking absolutely catastrophic. Not a single frag, one HP for Sonic. Thank you for playing. Might want to throw this gun away, honestly. Insert coin to continue. Oh, God. I should have thrown that one away. Must have had that chance. Oh, he didn't actually, he didn't actually uh, get it in time. Didn't reach it. He's longer arms. 404, AK not found. Committing on those rounds without scouting. It's, it's a no brainer on this map. Do not like this map in particular. Can you don't, says Valens. Please, can you don't? That was a That was an opportunity to really Minimize the percentages for Liquid, but Liquid will force their way back in with some great mates, some great scout work top mid. Credit to all the players. Compliments to the chef. Liquid in control of Banana. OC has that Krieg. Oh, now it's their turn to be the recipient of the HE grenades. Now Fly may be gifted by that flashbang to fall back before the engagement. His teammates in a spot of bother though. They're lining up for him and it will be three. Thank you for playing once again, excuse me. Hiccups again. Well, the tree can be collected. At some point. Sonic with the blue deeg. Looking for a one deeg. It's not a good look, is it? Well played by Liquid, they really took ATK. And threw them in the bin. Oh, this is gonna, oh, this is gonna be interesting. Stewie look down, can't. look down, mate. <laughs> oh dear. I think Stewie realized what may have been happening. You saw him crouch to make the angle more awkward. And he gets a Krieg for his troubles. He gets the prize. He was playing with the controls. He was at the fairground looking for the teddy bear. The teddy bear was carrying the Krieg. <laughs> Now, what is the plan for ATK? Five flashbangs. Because considering that every single player has a flashbang, it almost feels like they're gonna do a running play into banana or something, or somewhere. I wonder how much a flashbang costs in real life. The army to buy. Oh. I wonder how competitive the market for flashbangs is. Do you think there's a or if it's fixed? There's an opening for you, James. No, because I was thinking, like, what if we did a sounds of CSGO for a flashbang? But we, we would probably have to pay for the flashbang. So how much would the flashbang cost? Because, you know, when you're when you're charging the government for things, you try and uh, scout them as much as possible. That's generally how it goes. Maybe we can get the army to sponsor it. And then... Like in the, U in the UK, when they were going to do some kind of program with uh, solar panels, and all these solar panel companies popped up looking for offices when I was selling offices at the time. Then they cancelled it and they all disappeared again. Anyway, ATK back in black, back on the attack. Stew the pop flash. Give me 
loves the variance. He thrives in the middle of the action. And ATK maybe knowing that will try to avoid him, at least for now. Flopzilla with a smoke grenade for the arch position. Deny of information. Let's we go for a spray. He does. Not too shabby an angle. OC shot in the back. Betrayed by the smoke. Ooh, Liege, gotta be careful. Panic HE will fail. ATK with good presence, top mid. But what is the next stage of this attack? Yeah, that's a good question. This is a fairly predictable play. Wow, okay. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, Twist was up on the balcony. I was about to say, yeah, it's, uh, Liquid are definitely feeling like something was up there. And they will investigate and get two kills for their troubles. And now they've got top mid control, which allows them to once again reinforce the B-bomb site. Although both players are playing outside of the site, so a plant could be possible. There's a single smoke for CT, boost for NAF. And uh, the flashbang has to be pretty on point to deal with NAF. See if they have, have one off there. Just try to walk it in. Oh, the gun is spotted. Hello. Yikes. In the face. Unnecessary. But effective. Everyone survives for liquid. How solid will, will their CT side be? ATK's loss bonus is reaching maximum levels, reaching the big apex. Oh, you just saw a tease through the smoke. Repositions for a tight angle to limit the response and sprays. Great awareness. Spatial awareness from Twist. We love some spatial awareness. It's a shame we don't see more of it in the street. Liquid in the lead, 80k with pistols. They've got some flashbangs though. They have intentions with these Molotov and smoke grenade. So one must be careful. So not really too much to work with here for ATK again. A couple of flashbangs to be deployed. You can see the OC holding the mid flash. And there they go. No one there though. Playing the most offensive setups here. Full twist. Might get caught out here in the spray. Well, eventually does from the pit player, but that's the only kill. Liquid's economy is going to be out of control right about now. And ATK, they've got to start switching things up. What should they be doing, Valence? I think... Yeah, Valence, what should they be doing? They they figured out kind of map control pretty easily against Liquid. They keep getting map control that they want. It's it's the, the mid-round or the end-round finish that they're having trouble with right now. Maybe a little too hasty. Uh, not waiting out smokes, try to try and play around it. Uh, they also haven't been doing their signature banana control just yet, so we'll see. Well, there's a deep molly, and the response is a lot of utility actually. So they they kind of convince Liquid to dump everything, perhaps. Well, not everything. But there is a utility dump there, and now the utility advantage is with the T's, and they can go for a retake. And <laughs> Looks like Naf is expecting it. Oh, too much, too greedy, surely. Hang time in the air for way too long. Was it worth it? He probably sits here in regret. ATK will slow things down. Note how MOTM doesn't go past the half wall alone in case of a pop flash play, I presume. Oh, up he goes. Pop flash. Taking the CT angles away, there's the bounce smoke at the front of the site and the flashbang to go with it. All can be deployed by one player, so Liquid will consider that. Is it likely to be an execute behind it? Probably not. It won't go too crazy, too, too set up for the CTs. And the Dren is on the AWP finally. Twist by the balcony. He's exposed himself. Now he might just get pre-fired by Floppy. He's made too many steps though. He was too, it was too urgent for him. He wasn't close enough. Conceded an advantage there, Floppy. A little too excited, and now Liquid know what's up. That's a deep position to have. Common for a lurker, but when there are three players remaining, who knows? I'm trying to pinch into the side. The time is really limited right now. They have to make this work. They cannot afford anything to go wrong, and it looks like that's going to be the case. Two instant kills, and the CTs are locked out of the bomb side. The leash will be so okay. That's an enormous gap. That's a terrible, terrible spike. It's a canyon. Way more than a gap. It's a canyon. It's a valley it's a of canyon. opportunity for Team Liquid. Liege, I think, realizes they're playing outside the of the pit, but the smoke will actually ex expose his legs under the balcony. 
Shui with a wall bang up high, but the player is low. The lead is gone, and Shui's too deep. Too many man, too many angles. ATK get their second round of the half. Where does your confidence lie now, Valence? I, I still think ATK is doing a good job on map control. Uh, they keep getting the trades. They went, they went one for one <clears throat> at Banana, which favors the T side. So they're doing a good job. Let's just see if they can clean up the finish. Like that round, they, they had a really nice 3v4 finish at A. So yeah, I still think ATK is looking good. Looking good, all good in the hoods. There is fire. There is a lot of light, and there is shrapnel towards the tree, or near the tree. Stewie sees the flash, avoids it. He knows the player has crossed. He falls back. Nafly is here if needed, but they won't go crazy, ATK. Still a five versus five. Who knows what is around the next corner? Peeking before the grenade goes off floppy. I respect it, but they're ready for him. Sorry, does damage, but he can't finish off the job. Adren with 12 HP falls back. One of two AWPs for Liquid. Fact finding missions for Liquid and Train will spot one. There's a trade, a liege with the off angle. Spots the bomb, looks again, and Sonic is there. Too fast for a liege. And now, where do ATK go? They've got Arch, which means they can wrap. Liquid's response is to go for a two man push on Banana. So there's no split at the very least. Twist still on the balcony, under the balcony even. ATK cutting the noise. So there's a chance that they're creeping towards B or simply standing in CT spawn. Grenades towards the A bomb site and Twist will spray down the first one, buying some time only to deliver a brief headshot to Sonic and Luke would make it to 13. They are three rounds away from a third map from overpass. ATK not far behind them, but they are losing most of the rounds. Yeah, I followed what AT was trying to do. They got Banana kind of for free. Sue missed a shot at the corner, fell back. And I think they were hoping that the A rotated Arch player would start walking towards B because Liquid lost Banana, but that wasn't the case. Uh, they were just playing 3-2. So AT took kind of a gamble to walk around Arch and did not pay off. Wow, the faith in ATK has changed the pinnacle at the very least. Opportunity knocks because they are two rounds behind. Yes, it has been a struggle, but it's not over. Off the wall, a little deeper. That's a lot for MOTM. I don't think I'll ever understand these HG grenades properly. <laughs> One thing which is seemingly impossible to solve. Seem extremely unstable. So here's that lurk smoke again. We saw it last time. For me, it felt obvious that it was a, a one-man play. This time they've put it back. They've put it there and there's a number of players here, but they look to be trying to exhaust the utility of Team Liquid. At this point, I have two incendiaries remaining, one of which is on the B bomb site. Sub one minute mark, there's a gap in that smoke. JTK will, JT will not be offered anything behind it. Stewie has a Molotov. Not as good as a smoke on a B-bomb site in some instances, but maybe you'll have to do. Molly goes down. No response from ATK. Elise rotating now. He's got another smoke grenade. If he can get in position to throw it, if he can, it would be humongous. He's going for the pool flash in, so that'll buy some peaks for Stewie. Now, they've isolated the CTs, but that smoke won't go down in time. Maybe it's time for the retake, though. Nafly playing for a late stop of the bomb plant. That will be successful. Liquid making it to 14. Floppy forced to run away and stare at the, li the lily pads in T-spawn. I think Liquid has caught on to the fact that wherever ADK takes map control mid-round, that's where they end up hitting. Not many fakes are going on, not, my, not many lurk plays and seesawings going on. So they seem to be just kind of overstacking towards wherever they hear noise in the middle part of the round. And, and so far, it's been on point. They've, they've just been shutting down ATK's pushes with multiple people at the site. And uh, I think ATA needs to try to work on getting banana and or mid and just kind of seesawing a little bit. Otherwise, they're going to keep running into these stacks. Well, this round, they don't have much going for them. But again, sometimes these are rounds that strangely work. Deep into Elyse. Elyse is ready. That Krieg standing large and in charge at the top of middle. 
uh, struggle to get map get the map here away from Team Liquid. Ray TK. Don't have banana, don't have top mids, no presence in apartments. It's like looking for a 1D. Game plan this round can't be 1D because we have some flashbangs here. The smoke and arch as well. So is that a silver creep? Damascus steel. Ah. So it is so he has a non default skin. For a gun. Oh, traitor. Can't believe it. A gun was spotted. Fade away H E grenade. And they're prepared. Look at the response. Look at the response. Moving like a SWAT team. Street puts the Molly down first. There's the pull flash. Up. Oh, they're lining up for him as well. Buying some more time. Another thwarted smoke grenade. Well, there's a giant gap. There's been a lot few of those on this half. Oh my liege will finish off the job. Game point for Liquid. They are not out of this one just yet. It's been yeah. hard to keep the faith, but they're one round away. Yeah, great performances. Individually, individually they've been playing really well too. And it seems like they really hit a good flow. And... Uh, I honestly don't know what to expect from ATK on overpass, but um, given what they've shown already, it seems like it, they, you know, they could have a good shot there. It's definitely a very te technical map. I think that, you know, props to Adrian as well. I, I do feel like he's been, he's definitely someone that plays at CS a lot, even though he's, he's a coach. Looking pretty sharp, connecting the shots too. Definitely holding his own. I'm, yeah. I'm super surprised ATK kind of went away from the fast banana control and then taking mid if they if they need to and then kind of working between the two uh, like they were doing against Complexity. I, they're kind of a little bit more telegraphed on this T side uh, than they were yesterday. And I think Liquid is taking full advantage of that. Victories everywhere. Two limits. Any fast plays from ATK. Containment. ATK will start slow. MOTM with the smoke out in case fire is thrown upon his person. Wanting to emulate. Different HEs to what we've seen in the past from Liquid. Some they have been subjected to by their opponent. Again, MOTM with the lurk smoke to invite some utility. And here is the response. It's the CT's turn to have a dodgy smoke grenade. But we should be able to see that there's a gap in it. Got to be real careful with these exchanges on the CT side. Oof. Some, some dodgy situations here. Almost lost losing two players, but not. And there it is. Big pick. Two players still critically weak on the other side of the map. For Liquid, they're going to be in for a struggle to hold if ATK execute correctly. This could be the rounds that ATK needed. Is he trying to suggest B? It's just one nade flying in at a time, though. Whew. Save time? What's the money like for Liquid? It's not spectacular. Bearing in mind uh, the remaining chances, there are to win the game, so it is going to be safe territory for them. No need to throw good money after bad. ATK closed the gap to three. They need four rounds in a row, one of which is this, to take this to another overtime. Lost bonus starts at the beginning for Liquid. It would be very surprising to me if ATK make this come back to overtime. Because they just haven't, they've they've just been struggling for so many rounds. It's been a good just adjustment there. Uh, they they took banana and then they just left one guy there, kind of sell it a little bit and went back into mid and kind of actually seesaw this round. Uh, so I think that was a much better round overall. When when CTs do play passive on both sides of the map on Inferno, that is kind of the way you want to play as T's because although they're never going to shift, you're not going to really mess with their rotations. They also don't have info, so. You're going to cast that one guy off Arch or trying to go towards B or vice versa. And I think that's what they did that round. And uh, we're able to wrap on A pretty easily. Okay, well, can they do it again? He 
HE for the twist. Fast banana from ATK and oh wow, I don't know how Stewie is it. Is he gonna live? He's trying to live. He's trying his best to survive, <laughs> but he won't. But the fact that he gets a kill from that is kind of insane. Chunky HE. The MOTM left to scope. Maybe he'll put his lurky smoke in. So quiet. Tense. Same as it was on the previous map. A take of top mid. This time Adren moves away from Arch and focuses on the site itself. No pot shots through the smoke at top of Arch. And the rapid suggested. And the drone moves forward to keep the information. Floppy spotted, gotta be careful. Falls away. Nice pop flash. Very nice pop flash. Yeah, that was perfect. And he has some information. However, all the CTs on A are more or less fighting in isolation. A dreadful tag and twist pops up for a 2k, leaving OC alone to fall as well. And we head to overpass because Liquid have won Inferno. Great hold there. What a hold from Twist. That's pretty insane. Maybe if they'd had a smoke or something, I don't know what it would have taken, but Liquids, they found the answers. And ATK just fell short here. But there are some lessons to be learned. Again, they have such a good foundation to work from. I think uh, Liquid did a much better job adapting on their CT side. Uh, T side, I feel like Liquid didn't have... Liquid actually had less variety on their T side than ATK did, even though ATK ended up losing out pretty much on their own T side. A uh, lot of good things to see from, from ATK. I think Liquid needs to kind of clean up how they want to play with this, uh, play with the Dren on the T side uh, for Overpass. Otherwise, Overpass is really difficult to play unless you have good synergy. So uh, this is going to be an interesting third map. It is indeed. So careful. I feel like everybody, it's interesting for ATK to know what opportunity they have ahead of them and they're really trying to make as few errors as possible. Not give any information away for free and Liquid are doing the same in a less than ideal situation. A 30 bomb from Twist to go just shy of 3,000 damage. A great performance from him. Nice multi-frag towards the end and indeed we will be heading to Overpass, the third and final map. To find out who goes to Arlington, Texas, it all ends on Overpass and that comes after the break.